हेलो फ्रेंड्स चिराग हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन पार्ट टू एंड टुडे विल बी स्टडिंग फ्रूडेंटाइंस इक्वेशन फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ मैकेनिज्म लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डायग्राम वी कंसीडर अ फोर बार मैकेनिज्म एज यूजुअल फॉर एग्जांपल पर्पस दिस विल बी द फिक्स लिंक लेट एस नेम इट एज एल दिस विल बी द क्रैंक द कपलर एंड द आउटपुट लिंक we name it as l2 l3 and l4 respectively suppose we also name it as a b c and d so let's consider an angle theta for the input link consider an angle phi for the output link and we consider angle beta for the coupler link between l2 and l4 so the frudenstein's equation is useful in calculating the dimension of the links used in the mechanism and we will not go in the depth of derivation it will be covered in another video if you want you can comment in the section below and ask the queries so the equation goes as follows k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 is equal to cos theta minus phi this equation is derived from a derivation following the diagram and as you can see we have three terms k1 k2 and k3 in these equations so k1 is equal to l1 upon l2 k2 is equal to l1 upon l4 and k3 is equal to l1 square plus l2 square plus l4 square Minus l3 square upon 2 l2 l4. So in this way we can calculate k1, k2 and k3. We will be provided phi and theta in the given example, and this will be the Frudenstein's equation in short for calculating the length of the link in a mechanism. So let's take a numerical to see how this Frudenstein equation actually works. First example, we are given to design a four bar mechanism design a four bar mechanism we have been given the input angles as theta 1 is equal to 20 degree theta 2 is equal to 35 degree and theta 3 is equal to 50 degree also we have been given the output angles as phi 1 is equal to 35 degree phi 2 is equal to 45 degree and phi 3 is equal to 60 degree so this is the given input for frudenstein's equation now let's draw a schematic diagram for four bar mechanism so as for the reference purpose now as stated earlier we'll consider the input link as l1 the coupler link as l2 this will be l3 and the fixed link will be l4 for example in exam if we are given the notation for the following link as a b c and d convert them to l1 l2 l3 and l4 as all our formulas are in this format so the first step we write down the equation k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 is equal to cos theta minus phi so put down the equation taking the first equation theta 1 and phi 1 cos 35 minus k2 cos 20 plus k3 is equal to cos 20 minus 35 we are taking the initial values of theta 1 and phi 1 the mobile pe now k2 uh, i'm sorry the second equation will be k1 cos the second values 45 Minus k2 cos 35 plus k3 is equal to cos, which will be theta minus phi 35 minus 45. Next k1 cos 60 minus k2 cos 50 plus k3 is equal to cos 50 minus 60. so we get three simultaneous equations with three unknown so so solve this equation go into the mode equation and the second number 
which has three equation and three unknown so we have to put the corresponding values the first equation is cos 35 cos 35 is equal to now the second value is minus cos 20 minus cos 20 the k3 will be 1 because it has no suffix or prefix so it will be 1 and the d will be cos 20 minus 35 next equation equation number 2 cos 45 next minus cos 35 as usual k3 will be 1 and the d value will be cos 35 minus 45 now the third equation cos 60 k2 will be minus cos 50 and k3 1 the d that is the fourth unknown will be cos 50 minus 60 so solving the simultaneous equations we will be getting k1 is equal to 0 0.6399 k2 is equal to 0 0.7514 k3 is equal to 1.1478 now to calculate the k1 k2 and k3 we need at least length of a one link but it has not been provided so we can assume the length of a link of any one of the link so we consider l1 which will be 10 centimeter that is the input link so when we consider l1 as 10 centimeter k1 is equal to l1 upon l2 we have k1 which is equal to 0 0.6399 is equal to 10 upon l2 so we will be getting l2 is equal to 0 0.63 0 0.6399 shift is equal to 10 upon x which will be approximately 15.627 centimeter Similarly, K2 is equal to L1 upon L4. We have K2 that is 0 0.7514. L1 is 10 and L4 is unknown. In the similar fashion, L4 will be 13.30 centimeters. Now, K3 is equal to L1 square plus L2 square plus L4 square minus L3 square upon 2 L2 l4 substituting all the values plus 15.62 square plus 13.30 square minus l3 square upon 2 into 15.627 into 13.30 which will come approximately to 6.625 centimeter now this was everything about Frudenstein's equation and how to solve and find the length of the link. So in the question we will be asked to synthesize the mechanism in the first, second or third position or all the positions for the given angles. So let's assume we have been asked to synthesize the mechanism in the first positions. So if I recall the angle for the input were 20 degree and phi for the output one was 35 degree now when we have all the link length and the angles we can synthesize fix two point name this point as O1 now take a protractor and measure 20 degrees so L1 was 10 centimeter consider a suitable length or scale for making the diagram and mark L1 similarly we have L4 which was 13.3 degrees let's consider this length to be L4 mark another fixed point O2 and this will be L4 from the length L4 will be the output link that is 35 degrees point that mark, mark the point of 35 degrees and draw a length L3 of suitable scale so this will be L3 and this will be L1. Connecting the points or end points of L1 and L3 will be the coupler link L2 and we can give the directions 
in this manner this will be the fixed link which can be shows with hatchings so this is how you synthesize a mechanism in the first position similarly if second position is mentioned take theta 2 is 35 degree and phi 2 is equal to 45 degree the procedure will be the same draw an angle of 35 degree and draw an angle of 45 degree connect the lens and you will be getting a synthesized mechanism in the second position so this is how you find the length of mechanism using Frodenstein's equation and to synthesize it in the first or second given position so friends this is another type of numerical which may be asked in the examination in this numerical we basically have been given a diagrammatic representation of three links in coordinate system with the coordinates the link with a1 and b1 is a fixed link a rigid link the coordinates are given as 20 20 and 20 100 from this we can measure 100 minus 20 and 20 minus 20 that the link is 5 cm long also we have been given the points a2 b2 that are inclined at 45 degree from a certain coordinates and a3 b3 is the third position of the link which is 8 cm apart from the end position of second coordinates so we have to uh, we have to synthesize a mechanism in the second position let's see how to do it in a similar fashion so friends i have drawn a rough diagram for representation purpose let's start draw a coordinate system x and y with a point o or 0 as it may suit you we have been given 20 and 100 so we can see that the step is of 20 20 now we consider a scale as 20 centimeter is equal to 2 units on our graph so let's mark x position 20 40 60 80 and 100 similarly 20 40 60 80 and 100 this will be the position for representation purpose in examination you will be provided a graph to draw make sure the coordinates are accurate so that the answer matches the final answer when it is being synthesized let's draw the coordinates we have been given 20 20 and 20 100 so 20 20 and 20 100 keep the scale on 20th and mark a point match it with the 20 on the y coordinate we get a point a1 which is 20 20 now consider this point 20 and go up on the x y direction and we find the point 100 and it will mark the second point that is a1 b1 so in this manner we get our first link length that is a1 b1 now the second position is 120 so 120 120 will be approximately this so we get a2 it is in draw a small horizontal line to measure the angle take a protractor keep it on the point accurately and measure 45 degree so as we know from our scale it is 8 centimeter this will be 8 centimeter and it is told that the third link is 8 centimeter apart so let's consider it as here and mark the last link so in this manner this will be b2 a3 p3 so we get the diagrammatic representation on our graph paper in examination now all we have to do is start joining the points first join a1 and a2 with a dotted line and draw a perpendicular from the middle let's measure this line it is somewhat 8.2 so we consider 4.1 as the center point make sure you use a protractor to divide it perpendicular because if the measurements go wrong you may miss the point now let's use a pencil for marking the o1 and o2 fixed point draw a faint line from a1 and a2 similarly join a2 and a3 with dotted line measure the line which is approximately 11.4 cm 
so that will be so 11.4 as measured its half will be approximately 5.7 keep the protractor and measure 90 degree take a pencil and join the perpendicular this point of the intersection for a1 a2 and a2 a3 will be o1 which will be the fixed point for our mechanism similarly join b1 and b2 now measure the length it is approximately 14.2 so let's consider 7.2 as the midpoint take 90 degree and draw a faint line for the purpose similarly join b2 and b3 make sure you are very much accurate in joining the points because if the points are not aligned to each other you may get various readings from your friends which may cause trouble in the examination and so to avoid the trouble use proper scale this is 9 cm so 4.5 will be the midpoint draw a perpendicular 90 degree and so the points are going above you have to join both the perpendicular lines for b1 and b2 and b2 and b3 they are quite far and taking proper scale is necessary as mentioned so this will be o2 we have got o1 and o2 similarly now we have been asked to synthesize the mechanism in second position so similarly the second position will be okay. तू बोल ना अरे सेकंड पोजीशन विल बी ओ वन ए टू एंड बी वन आई एम सॉरी बी टू ओ टू दिस विल बी द सेकंड पोजीशन और एल्स वी कैन आल्सो कंसीडर द फर्स्ट पोजीशन ओ वन ए वन ए वन एंड so the first position will be o1 a1 and o2 b1 this will be the synthesis of mechanism in the first position so let's consider this b1 this will be o1 a1 o2 b1 and we have successfully synthesized the mechanism in the first position let's calculate and the next step will be calculating the coordinates of point o1 and o2 so when you are provided with the graph acha to niche ka nahi aa raha so calculate the coordinates of point o1 on the graph first considering the x suppose this will be 3 and 5.7 and o2 might come 6.4 and 10.2 approximately calculate we have to multiply it with the scale we have taken scale as 20 cm calculate it by 20 and you will get o1 and o2 calculate the length of the link o1 a1 and o2 b1 to get the el element link and this will be the synthesis of mechanism in the first position do like comment and share the video also the suggestions are welcomed subscribe and stay tuned for further videos thank you